Welcome back to the Rich Chess YouTube channel. So this class we learn how to make this beautiful spiral sleeve that we see here with organza fabric. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. For this tutorial, I'm going to be working with this lace fabric as my main bodies and then this organza i'm going to use to create my flounce okay so i have this basic sleeve block already i've cut it out if you don't know how to cut out a basic sleeve you can check the channel i already have a tutorial on that so the next thing i'm going to do now is to create my spiral pattern on this sleeve okay so i chose this white because i really want us to see this but my chalk is not showing very well on the white so i'm going to be creating the pattern on this paper using my marker so that we can see it well then you know that we just need to replicate whatever we do here on your fabric so to create this pattern i'm going to put my fabric on fold again and then i'm going to measure around the bicep area because that's where i want the rows to be so it depends on where you want it to be for me that's going to be around seven inches from my starting point so this is a smaller pattern so i'm just going to assume this point to be my seven inches so after creating that i'm going to open it back so using my free hand now i'll start creating that spiral effect so you can see what i'm doing i'm just creating like a circle round that point that i noted earlier and i'm just doing this using my free hand okay so once you create enough circle just like i have here the next thing I is to bring this down to the center through the center i can still see my center fold here so i'm just going to bring this down to the hemline okay so this is going to be the pattern i'm going to be following to create my flounce so what i've done here now i'm just going to replicate it on my pattern on my main fabric and i'll try as much as possible to make it bold so that we can see what we are working on so i've created the pattern now as you can see i hope you can see this well so what i just did was to fold this into two and then from my starting point i measured down seven inches for my bicep and on that point i opened it out and then i started creating my flounce so after creating the flounce all around when i'm okay with what i have here i folded this again so that i can lose the midpoint and then i just took it straight down like this so we have exactly what we have on our paper on this pattern so the next one now is to bring in our organza fabric so that we can cut out the flounce so you can cut this anyhow you want i have one yard of organza here but i'm going to be cutting mine in straight form you can cut it like a spiral flounce you can cut it like a flare but because this is straight from so i'm going to fold it to a size that i can cut easily so after folding it now i want my flounce to be around two and a half inches long by the time i'm done so i'm going to add extra one inch for folding the hem and then sewing it to the bodies so here i'm just going to cut out three three and a half my fabric is just around 16 inches long so i'll have to join them together so i'll cut multiple three and a half inches length now and then i'll show us how i'm going to join it neatly okay so i'm just going to i've cut this out now i'm going to use these two pieces to explain to us so i have about three and a half inches here so to join them together remember we're cutting multiple i'm just going to sew it here then after sewing it you're going to trim it to the barest minimum and then you close it up and then sew it again so that it's going to be really neat by the time you join it remember organza frills a lot so you don't want to leave it hanging you can even serge it then after serging it you can close it up or you just leave it like that once you serge it it's going to be neat so i'm going to be joining multiple together to perform my plan so to so have an idea of what you need to cut out you can just measure around the space that you need to fill up so you just measure around the spiral for me i have about 18 inches so you can just multiply that by three or four depending on how full you want it to be so for me i'm just using one yard of organza fabric so this three and a half inches may be small so if you are doing yours you can just cut out five inches so that by the time you hem it here 
you will still have something reasonable okay so now i'll go ahead and join all of my pieces together and then i'm going to aim it on the lower part and then gather it so i'll do all of that and then bring it back to show us what we have so i've gone ahead to cut my you can see how long it is that was why i had to show us how to join it so after cutting it I went ahead to aim it on the lower part you can see that it is neatly hemmed and then i just ran a gather stitch and gathered everything to my normal size so this is what i have i did not actually measure the size but i just gathered it so if i have excess i may use it to fill it up because if you want your your organza to be full the spaces that you're going to have between each of your slants you make it as close together as possible but my fabric is not so much so you can make it very close when you have something like this you can see how close it is but if it's scattered it may still be showing your lace fabric especially if your ganza is short like mine after i mean it what i have here is just around something around around two inches which is very short because i'm still going to sew it so if you're doing yours like i said just measure five inches so that by the time you turn it out and then you sew it you still have something around three inches long so now to sew this now i'm going to let me use this paper which is more clearer i'm going to start sewing from the hem so now i'm going to place it like this and then sew so after placing it and sewing i'm going to turn like this and then start filling up all of this space like this with my organza fabric so i'm going to start filling it up so i take it to the sewing machine now place this like this and then after sewing it on the hem i'm going to come here now and start filling it up okay so once i finish sewing it i'll bring it back to us if i have excess organza i'm going to use it to fill up whatever space that is opening but for now i will go ahead and sew this now and start filling it up already so after sewing it you're going to cover this hemline we are still going to i'm still going to show us how we're going to do that so let me just start by filling this space first okay so for the hem you can just trim it off to this to to be smaller than what you have here that's if you are, remember mine is very short so i'm just going to leave it like this but if you are working with around five inches you can when you get to your hem remember we have we're going to be having a straight fabric like this so when you get to the hem you can just trim it a bit so that it can be a bit tiny compared to what you have here okay so that by the time you hem it in it's going to be smaller than your main body but i'm just going to leave mine this way because it's already short so there's no need to hem it further again okay so i'm on the machine now i can see i'm just sewing it since i already gathered my organza fabric so it's, you can either gather your fa uh, your organza or you put it whichever one is okay but it's better to just gather it so that you won't need to gather as you go what you just need to do is to start sewing it so i have finished sewing the straight part so the next thing is to lift my foot now and start sewing it round the round the the spiral effect that we created so you just follow the chalk mark that you already have there and then you just place your ganza and then you sew around it it's that simple okay so you can see that i have sewn it all around now and i'm almost filling it up so i just have this smaller space so now i'm just going to take this as well and then round, wrap it around so i still have this excess so from this excess now i'm going to try to fill up all of these spaces so you can see because my distance is not so close together i have these pieces here so i'm just going to cut it and then use it to fill it up so that my lace is not going to be showing too much by the time i put this on so now i'm going to cut this here then after cutting it i'm going to wrap this like i'm forming like a rose okay so after wrapping it round i'm going to put it at the center and then i will tack it down i hope you understand that let me just bring this out so this is the point we had now i just have the center part to fill up okay so like i was saying the last one now i'm going to wrap it around and then just place it at the center point like this 
and then I'm going to use my machine to tack it down or you can use your needle and try to tack it down so this is what you have so the excess that I have now you can decide to use it to fill up these extra spaces that you have by just lifting it up like this and then you sew it round you look for somewhere to sew it round so the last thing we need to do after that is to sew another another organza on this straight part so that we can cover up the rough edges that we have so what you just do is you lift up the last one like this and then you're going to place this you're going to place a new organza on it and then you place it on what you already sew. Remember, we already sew it like this. So I'm just going to place this exactly on it and then sew it down. Then I can now tack it here so that the, the rough edge that I have in between here is going to be closed up properly. So I'll do all of this now and bring it back to show us what we have. So everything is sewn now. You can see that the center is closed up and then i've sewn the other one here also so to close this hem area up what i'm just going to do now is to put this on fold and then top stitch on it very close so that it can be one single piece remember we placed another one on top of it now so you can see you can either leave it like this or you just close it up so for me to close it up i'm just going to top stitch very close here and I'm going to take my Honda hand together and close it and that's and that's it your sleeve is ready okay so I've moved it to a bigger table so that we can see what it looks like so this is what the sleeve looks like now after top stitching on it you can see that the hem area is standing straight as well so you can see how short this is this is what three and a half inches gave me so if you want to make yours just make it around five inches or even more if you want it to stand out more i can see how beautiful this rough wood area is because i decided to use the left over that i have to fill up this extra gap so it's not looking fuller than what we had earlier so the last thing to do now is just to take the underarm area together and then i'm going to sew it and turn it out so i'm gonna have to sew it down the next thing is to carefully turn out the sleeve and then you're going to go ahead and cut off the thread that you have there so preferably it's better for you to search this upper part of your organza that you're sewing to the bodies as well because organza fabrics very a lot like i said so that i can have something so this is what the sleeve looks like now i'll just take it to the mannequin so that i can see the full view okay so this is what the sleeve looks like you can see the ruffles and then you can see the pencil part of the sleeve this is a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye